see the next security which is network security. Most of our activities today are spanning around the internet and they are carried out through various networks. All the devices are connected through the network. Most of the services are also offered through the network. Moreover, information is shared and data travels through the network. It is really a challenging task to ensure authorized access at all times. As the usage of the network increases on one side, the vulnerabilities also increase on the other hand equally or sometimes even more. Unsecure network is exposed to lot of risks and they bring ultimately disrupting operations to the organization. Therefore, network security is more important. We will see some more points on that. Today, unimaginable data transfer is happening in every fraction of a second through the network. During the transmission, from the sender to the receiver, data is vulnerable to attacks, is exposed to attacks. An attacker can target the communication channel, eavesdrop the data or modify the data. Today, we are living in the technological era. So, communication happens through emails, online chatting, lot of operations like personal operations and official thing happen and sensitive information is exchanged through the network. So, network security is the most important and essential feature in the entire life and communication becomes the integral part of it. So, let us see what are the goals of network security. The goals include IT security, computer security, data security and information assurance. Once again, it is ultimately based on the CIA triangle. Let us talk about network vulnerabilities here. First, let us see about network reconnaissance. It is a process of acquiring information about the network before launching the attacks using publicly available information. This is the very first step in an effective attack. The primary goal of reconnaissance is to find out the IP address, the access of the TCP ports and the type of operating system. Reconnaissance uses any of the following approaches or technology. They are physical break-in, dumpster driving, social engineering, news groups, websites and who is database. If you look at from a different perception, the next means of attacks is through wired and wireless networks. In a wired network, all devices are connected to each other either using fiber optics or copper cable to transfer the data. Wired network had a fixed infrastructure, whereas in a wireless network, radio signals are used to broadcast the messages through the air. An attacker can easily attack any device or interrupt the medium to hack the message during communication. Wireless network is more vulnerable compared to a wired network because of its dynamic topology. An attack can happen anywhere in the wireless network. Let us now discuss the attacks from a different perception. We all know that attacks can also happen on different layers. This is due to the reason that Network protocols are the standards which drive the whole show. For example, network protocol is a set of rules that define how a message is structured and transferred through a communication network. This is based on the ISO 
OSI standard model. Of course, we know that the protocol operates in seven layers. In computer network terminologies, there are several protocols. They are TCP IP, UDP, SNTP, FTP, ICMP, etc. Among this, TCP IP is the most popular protocol used for data transfer in internet. Each layer is subject to attacks and following are some of the attacks on different layers of this network standards. They are the IP attacks, ICMP attacks, routing attacks, TCP attacks and application layer attacks. Some of the attacks are listed and narrated at different points of time in our discussion. We need to focus on the different types of network security. Again and again I want to insist upon the point that it is not a simple term to understand. It's a composition of multiple terms. So if you look at the different types of network security, they are the antivirus and anti-malware software, application security, behavioral analytics, data loss prevention, email security, firewalls, mobile device security, network segmentation, security information and even management, virtual private network, web security, wireless security, endpoint security and finally network access control. These are the different types of network security so it's really much technical and a complicated in the compound one. We will see what are the mechanisms available today to achieve network security. There are lot of security mechanisms prescribed in the literature to achieve the goals of network security. International Telecommunication Union ITU This is a standard that has been defined and certain mechanisms to achieve network security are based on that. They are encipherment, digital signature, access control, data integrity, authentication exchange, traffic padding and routing control. Some of these techniques have been already uh, discussed in brief in our previous discussions.